first loser. Uh, front page of the Mexican newspaper talking about the fact this is the first time that a Liga MX side has lost a title game against an MLS team. Uh, and I want to bring Hercules Gomez uh, into the conversation. Herc, you were there in Atlanta. What a great advert this was for the sport. Yeah, it really was, especially after last year's Campeones Cup, where Toronto kind of went in it half-hearted. They didn't really put out their best team. They had premeditated subs, didn't take it as seriously as some would like. And then we see the Atlanta United lineup, and you're thinking it's going to be the same thing. It's pretty much a full-strength lineup for Club America, uh, with the exception of Emmanuel Aguilera, who was suffering a bit of a... a, a hamstring issue, if you will, so premeditated, they kept him out. Other than that, it's full strength. They go in and you think, this is Americas for the taking. There's no way they can lose this. But something about this game, something about this America team, the circumstances that surrounded it, we spoke about it last night. Uh, if an MLS team was ever going to beat a Liga MX team in a one-game playoff or a one-game title chance, it was going to be this team, this America team. Uh, they lost Edson Alvarez, uh, who was instrumental in winning their last title, scored two goals in the final. Defensive midfielder goes to Ajax. They lost their, probably their biggest star that they had in Agustin Marchesin, the goalkeeper, the Argentine goalkeeper who goes to Porto. Uh, in Edson Alvarez's place is Mateo Soribe. Well, he goes to Porto as well, the Colombian international. And then their leading goal scorer, who's supposed to be this year the leading goal scorer last year, who was probably underwhelmed, big signing, the third highest paid player in the league, Nicolas Castillo, their number nine, breaks his ankle a few weeks ago. So if there was ever going to be a time for Major League Soccer to win a game against Liga Mekis, this was it. And it lined up properly. And what a game it was. I mean, from start to finish, Atlanta United probably had their best game of the season. It was end to end. They took it to a team that's the most popular in Liga Mekis, has the most history in Liga Mekis, and a team that really took this tournament seriously. It's interesting because when this format was announced, wasn't it, people thought, oh, just flogging a dead horse, just looking to, to make money. There's no way this is going to be a success. But off the back of what we saw last night and all the reaction to it, this is really going to be a big deal, isn't it, going forward? It should be. And uh, Miguel Herrera, the America's uh, club, Amer club America's coach, excuse me, uh, he said it himself. This is a trophy for us. If they would have lifted this trophy for Miguel Herrera, it would have made him the winningest coach as far as trophies in that club's history. That's not just one of the biggest clubs in Mexico. That's one of the biggest clubs in Latin America. He took this seriously. Uh, Liga Mekis has taken this seriously. The president of Liga Mekis, Enrique Bonilla, when I sat down with him and Don Garber, he pretty much said to Don Garber's face, Anytime we play MLS, not only do we want to win, we want to drag them. We want to dominate them. They took this seriously. Going forward, this is just up a level. This is taking on a whole new layer. This is uh, something in Mexico right now where the word fracaso is being thrown around, failure. Uh, this, is this is very much egg in their face. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.